Welcome everyone. Today is another very special webinar. Thank you for joining us on time. We already have several participants uh, who have already joined us, so that's great. Welcome. You see a lot of people on your screen as uh, they, they are three, three uh, four special speakers today who will be presenting three different programs from two universities, which is an amazing opportunity to ask questions, specific program representatives and university representatives. So uh, my name is Nino. Uh, I'm my German university team member. And here you can see also Annette, who will be helping me today to answer your questions and uh, co-moderate today's webinar. As you know, uh, today's topic is tourism management. So we have all universities, uh, the two universities talking about their specific programs, which is a huge and greatest opportunity for you. So uh, for a little bit of time, I will ask our special guests to please turn off uh, your mics and cameras uh, until we have a really short presentation with Annette about my German university and about today's presentation but we will not take a lot of your time thank you so much um so annette maybe you want to say a few words about yourself and my you and then i will continue sure thanks a lot nina for the introduction welcome also from my side my name is annette and um, as you can see um on the bottom uh, of my uh, photo there's an at my German university. I'm also part of my German university. I'm a German student. I'm studying international cultural and business studies. And um, I entered, um, now in the master, I entered to the university like six years ago. So I'm quite familiar with German higher education system. And I guess this is um, the reason why I'm also here today. We have our special um, guests today. We will talk about tourism management. Um, um, but nevertheless, if you have like general questions on how does it work to study in Germany, how can I get a scholarships or uh, visa issues, um, don't hesitate to ask all your questions. We have this Q&A bubbles, speech bubbles here on the button. You can put your questions there. You also can comment on Facebook under the video and we will come to them. Okay, so that was a short introduction to how this works. And now I'd like to introduce a little bit my German University. Okay, so today we will talk about tourism management in Germany. Um, this is really interesting. Um, I was talking with Nino before that the subject webinars are also really special for us from the Mitchum University team. We also learn a lot. We all somehow studied in, in Germany, but different programs. So we don't know all the contents of the different programs, but we know like more general um, stuff. And um, what can you find on our page? If you enter mytermuniversity.com, you will be linked to the study finder where you can look for study programs that exist here in Germany, which is basically the first step I would recommend you to do if you think about coming to Germany to study. You can filter for different options and you can apply, let's say, for example, if you have a special IELTS score, um, you can put a filter and then the results only consist in um, these um, specific score of your IELTS. Or you can look for bachelors, for masters, you can choose the languages, the cities. So it's uh, it's really uh, cool. And I think you can take a little bit of time to, like, to play a little bit with it. Then we, um, we have more than 70 comprehensive articles about different topics, which we consider important for you as international students. There's, for instance, um, requirements, scholarships, uh, visa affairs. And all these topics are basically um, in our webinars as well. So we have um, about 150 webinars per year for different topics and also in different uh, languages. It's, uh, it's really special. And 
now who are the faces behind my team in university. We are as a small team and still growing. We are international and we all studied as internationals or nationals at a German university. Okay, so that was a little bit to give you um, some insights about who we are, what is my team university, and now I'm really curious to hear about our guest speakers and their programs. <laughs> I will hand it over to you, Nino, and um, we'll go in the background. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Annette, for this introduction. Um, well, I also set up um, the uh, slides. I will say a few words about myself. Um, as I already mentioned, my name is Nino. I'm also an international, I was an international student in Germany. I studied international relations, global governance and social theory at the University of Bremen. Uh, I've been working with my GU for over a half a year already, and I also work at the University of Bremen, which means that I have insights as an international student and already as a working person in a university. Uh, so I will be also happy to answer your questions. However, I would like to thank our guest speakers who also uh, took uh, some other people who from the university and they gave this time to you in order to answer your specific questions related to the program. So I will really encourage you to ans ask also general questions, but also about the specific programs, because those people, uh, they have, like, they put this time for you in order to help you. Uh, all right, uh, not to take a lot of time, as you saw from the beginning, we have four guest speakers from two universities and three international programs. Uh, we have, um, so the two universities are Degendorf Institute of Technology and Heilbronn University of Applied Sciences. And you can see the, uh, uh, the guest speakers here and the international programs. However, before we go uh, and talk uh, and I give floor to, this, to them, uh, I would like to introduce two databases to you, which maybe you are already familiar with. The fund is Hochschule Compass, uh, where you can find mostly German uh, taught uh, programs, including tourism management. And if you go to this page and write tourism management, you will see that there are 84 programs, and out of them, there are 13 programs which are entirely in English. Um, however, if you are the one who wants to study in English, uh, as Annette already showed you, our study finder, it's majormanuniversity.com, study finder. Here you write uh, tourism management and you can see 15 uh, degree programs, which are bachelor and master. And we have here this uh, divide for you. You can see that out of 15, there are four bachelor programs, 11 master, and here we have additionally English only, meaning that sometimes some programs are like combination of German and English. However, if you uh, use our filters and uh, click there in requirements, no German skills required, you will find only English programs. And in the case of tourism management, there are two bachelors and eight only English programs. All right. Then um, in addition, we have subject pages where you can uh, find information about specific subject and the information is about ranking, tuition fees, application, language requirements um, and it's a great option to visit this page and see uh, like have an overview about different things when choosing a university. However, at the same uh, time our pro tip would be to not always concentrate uh, on rankings or these very famous names. Maybe all of you know this University of Berlin or Munich, but there are tons of other universities which are great uh, and they are worth your attention and you um, and we will show you today as well during the subject webinar that this university provides wonderful programs and they are adjusted to student requirements. Uh, so that's why we always advise to choose the program which is best for you and not be guided only by these uh, names or cities or rankings. Uh, when talking about universities, um, there are different categories, uh, but we will, like, we will 
we have grouped them into big ones, uh, which is university and university of applied sciences. Um, if you search uh, in our study finder, there is another option of filtering uh, study programs according to university. So if you write university, uh, you will get some of the options for um, tourism management as well. Here we have a um, little uh, hint for you. So you should uh, check business management, which also includes tourism management. And in this case, there are five programs. And there is a divide between public and private universities. Uh, another option is to search for universities of applied sciences. And uh, here you can see that uh, our today's pro uh, universities are, are also mentioned. And there are 15 programs in this subject. And again, the divide between public and private universities. Uh, you may ask, which is fair, what is the difference between them? And there is not a huge difference. Earlier, we were saying that, uh, so first of all, they both provide bachelor and master programs. And you can see the ticks, beautiful ticks here. However, earlier we would say that usual universities of applied sciences do not suggest, uh, don't provide PhD programs, which is uh, not the case now. That's why we have this pros and tick. Uh, so some universities do uh, provide uh, PhD as well. Um, however, the biggest um, difference would be between theory and practice. So if you are more uh, into theory, uh, then you would choose university. If you are more into practical studies, then uh, probably it is a university of applied sciences. Um, and one more thing. Um, when you search for program in tourism management, there is not this sharp cut of tourism management. So there is variation. And you can see it here on a slide that it's, for example, tourism development strategies or MBA aviation and tourism management. So it's related to tourism management, but also has uh, different features. For example, today, one of the programs is about uh, health related to tourism management. So it's really interesting how this varies. All right, I will not take a lot of time anymore. I will introduce the first university, uh, which is Second of Institute of Technology, and I will introduce all the speakers. And later on, you uh, can um, decide uh, who is presenting first and so on. So the three speakers are Professor Dr. Georg Christian Steckenbauer. Uh, we also have Professor Dr. Katerina Wojciech and Professor Dr. Markus Hepney. Uh, the programs they will be, uh, they have two programs for those who want to um, apply for BA and MA studies. Uh, so this is another advantage. So it's International Tourism Management, Health and Medical Tourism and International Tourism Development. Uh, so I'll, you can see on the, um, we have a map, small map here so that you can locate uh, where Approximately the university is here. You can see on the map. Uh, now I will stop sharing my screen and uh, ask uh, the guest speakers uh, to introduce their program. So the floor is yours. Nino, thank you very much. I hope that you can hear me. And uh, if you're ready, I would like to share my screen. Yeah, we can hear you well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here we are. Well, uh, thanks a lot for your introduction in the in the very beginning. So it's not all about names and famous places like like Berlin. Well, we also have uh, excellent universities in Germany. Well, in smaller cities and even on the countryside. And one of these universities with uh, 25 years of history is the Deckendorf Institute uh, of Technology and. It is a university of applied sciences, which are well famous for their strong cooperation with the industry in general. And uh, well, in particular, it's the case um, for uh, the Institute um, uh, of Technology in Degendorf. Well, we are well settled, well connected uh, with the industry um, in Eastern Bavaria, where we are located. And um, quite new, 
is um, this campus here, uh, the European campus. It is part of the Degendorf Institute of Technology. It is located in the small, beautiful village of Fakirchen. Um, it is, well, in between the cities of Munich and Salzburg uh, on the countryside in a rural area. And um, what makes this campus so unique? It's, well, the first international campus. All programs which we offer here are um, held in English. And um, we do not only address German students, but uh, first of all, international students means that you have more than 17 nations or students from more than 17 nations at our campus. So a very international atmosphere and flair and learning environment in rural Bavaria. Well, um, and here we do offer um, among several other programs and our tourism master, which my colleague Professor Steckenbauer is going to present, um, a tourism bachelor, an international tourism management bachelor with a strong focus on health and medical tourism. And uh, why this focus and how this focus looks like, I'm going to explain in detail. Um, some information before we go into detail. It is a seven semester bachelor. Uh, we do start every year in the middle of April. Um, you have to apply for, for um, the study program, uh, sorry, uh, during this period here from the beginning of um, April and end of June. We will do start uh, in October and uh, we don't charge any fee. The only, um, well, contribution is that one. You have to pay uh, 62 euro to the students' union who use your money for, well, investments, for example, in the, in the Mensa. So every euro you pay, you also do benefit from. No study fees. Well, health and medical tourism, why this focus? Um, well, all of you have been to, to the doctor, for example, to the, to the dentist, and um, well, I think we can agree on that that is not the best experience, isn't it? Um, medical service providers, doctors, it, do treat their customers as patients, right? They really offer services uh, oriented on indication, medical treatments, but yeah, in terms of international medical and health tourism, that's not enough. Yeah? The customers, which very often do have to pay a lot of money from their own wallets, are experienced travelers and they do accept or expect more than just an excellent medical treatments. They are looking for having a good time. You know, for, they are looking for great experiences. And that is something many service providers in the field of medical and, and health services are on the one hand not aware about and on the other, they are not, well, able to provide these experiences, these, well, new health tools are looking for, as they are health experts. And um, they lack of the knowledge and the competences to offer experiences. And that is exactly a, a gap we do aim at with this study program. We want that you become experts who work in this gap, who fill this gap, who really do understand the medical and health treatments on the one hand, and on the other, you do understand the needs of the customers, the guests, and you will be able to create unique services and experience and market them successfully to international 
health and medical tourists. And this is a huge market and a huge market potential. Two so good job opportunities guaranteed in this particular field and in tourism in general. And well, as you can see our curriculum, we also do have a strong focus on well, general business and economic subjects. You also have a good opportunity to work in other branches than the tourism industry if you decide later on, right? But what we do is really strongly focus on these health and medical tourism aspects that you become an expert in that field. And we do combine that with language competences, with skills in research and methodology, means from the very beginning, from the first semester, we help you, we train you to write your research papers and prepare you by the first semester to write your bachelor thesis in the seventh semester. Last but not least, well, we have um, more than other programs, a strong focus on, well, um, information technologies. This is uh, something, well, which uh, Professor Wolczyk will talk about in more detail later on. And again, you see that the fifth semester is reserved for an internship. And here again, you see, well, the strong linkage of our university of this program to uh, the practice. Um, cooperation with the practice is also represented by our memberships here, the UNWTO, the European Spa Association, or here representing a company in the field of medical services, and that one is a German association who stands for, well, internet-driven businesses in tourism. That are bigger associations we do cooperate with. Well, we not only have theoretical lectures, you see our strong link to practitioners, we have practitioners as lecturers. We do invite people with professional backgrounds to give lectures in our modules. And we do leave the campus and visit places in Bavaria and uh, abroad in different modules. So the goal is to have at least one field trip, one excursion per semester. We also provide you the opportunity to join us to trade fairs of the industry, the most famous one, the most important one is the uh, ITB in Berlin, where we go every year. Uh, but we also do offer you the, well, East Contour, which is a student's conference where you have the opportunity to present your students' research work um, to other international students. Wow. And, well, as you see from the very beginning, we help you to develop your skills in doing own research. And that is what it uh, leads at. Um, these are some topics of bachelor thesis, which are chosen by our students, um, in many cases in cooperation with the industry. You see that there are different fields uh, covered digitalization, health tourism, um, employer branding, and so on, the very wide range. And as I mentioned from the very beginning, these study program aids, uh, aims at a gap. There are very good job opportunities in post-COVID-19 times, right? At the moment, tourism is at the ground, but we are all sure that we will come back to normality soon. And especially in this field, well, we aim at this uh, global mega trend of health. Tourism destinations, consultation, tour operators. So you really have a wide range of 
job opportunities in Germany, in your home countries, or abroad, wherever you like. Because, well, we do pay a lot, well, attention to international competences, also to language competences. You have the opportunity to learn different langu languages during your seven semesters. And um, you have the opportunity to study one semester abroad. Our administration staff helps you to, to choose a university which fits perfectly to your needs. Well, last but not least, the requirements. Um, you have to pass an aptitude test. Um, which, well, is in your own interest, as we can, on the one hand, guarantee that we have good students in, in our, uh, at our campus and that we have a high quality in our lectures, which means that you have uh, a good perspective on or at the job market. And for the job market, as I I uh, said before, the language is one key factor uh, you have in the moment when you do apply, um, already have to have the English B2 certificate, and you have to reach the German B2 level during the seven semesters at our university. It's not necessary to arrive with German skills, it's for sure helpful, yeah, when studying in Germany to, well, um, speak German as soon as possible, but you have three and a half years time for reaching that level. That shouldn't be a problem. Thank you very much. So we will have time to answer questions and to discuss later on, right? That's it from my side. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, yeah. hello everyone. I will allow myself to take the turn now. My name is Professor Katerina Volchek, and I'm one of the teams in uh, tourism management at Deggendorf Institute of Technology. And I'm also the head of a very unique lab, which we have in our campus and which is created to support uh, your study program. So why is a unique lab? Basically, what is happening now, we use technology everyday life. Every time we do something, it's related and enabled by technologies. So as we have mentioned already, we are the University of Applied Sciences, and it's very important for you as future graduates of bachelor and master programs to not just to know theory, but to be able to apply the cutting edge technologies in the strategy, in the future development, in tourism and other fields. So what is the lab is an opportunity for you to practice different aspects that are important in tourism management, in tourism development, with a help of advanced smart technologies. So one of the things we offer is uh, an opportunity to practice the development, creating of new strategies for your own businesses, for advancing existing businesses when you will be graduating. Second idea is uh, we offer you the opportunity to learn really innovative technologically driven ways to understand tourist experience, to analyze what's going on, and uh, to become real experts uh, who are able to use these technologies and who be will be able to offer your service to the future tourism and hospitality and health industry. And last but not least, an important part of this process is, of course, innovation, because we are living in a very interesting time right now when 
technology revolutionizes our life every day, and we need to be able to design new things. So now I would like just to show you a couple of examples what you as a students of uh, a European Campus Rattle Inn will be able to experience in our lab. So what we offer is uh, an opportunity to develop uh, different strategies for tourism, for management, for hospitality, for health industry. We have uh, technologies like uh, virtual reality with the cameras and with the software and hardware for you to practice uh, to try to develop virtual reality software on your own and to learn how it can be applied in tourism and hospitality. We will practice different aspects of creating new innovative idea. This is the screenshot from the project of our students who uh, designed a very innovative mobile application for uh, nature-based tourism for hiking. So they arrived at an absolutely new concept of advancing tourist experience in hiking. So you will also get this uh, experience and skills to come up with really innovative ideas. We have very cool technologies and we will show you how to apply them. For example, here you can see the glasses which shows where people are looking at which basically is vital to understand how happy our customers are, how happy tourists are. And you can see the screenshots from one of the studies uh, our faculty did about the websites, how to design a good website, how to improve the website for tourism uh, and uh, medical and health treatment. We can teach you how to understand emotions. And this is one of the innovative things that is now just coming to the tourism and hospitality industry, uh, emotion recognition and neuromarketing, an opportunity to use small sensors, as you can see now, to really understand what's happening emotionally with the person. When you feel excited, you your hands get wet and these sensors can identify that. So in our lab, whether you are in a bachelor student or a master student, we will uh, together explore different ways how we can analyze emotions. And uh, it's not a secret that artificial intelligence is now booming. So what we will show you, what you will learn in our lab is an opportunity to use artificial intelligence to understand emotion in real time, to analyze the face of, of your tourists, probably patients, and to see whether they are experiencing excitement, fear, whether they are happy, sad, or whether they don't care at all. So our lab provides these unique opportunities to practice these things, to learn not just a theory from the book, but to participate in workshops and to try to do it on your own. And the third aspect that is really unique in our lab is the opportunity to innovate. Here you can see the photo from one of the projects our students and interns did. Uh, this tiny robot is called Cosmo, and this is an artificial intelligence robot. So what, what we did, we imagined how a cool hotel might look like and how robot can serve customers, how robot can serve hotel guests. So together, when we are in the lab, we can practice that kind of skills uh, together and you will learn how to design innovative services, how to apply innovative technologies uh, in hospitality, in tourism and in health um, care. So this lab basically gives you several opportunities. Whether you are in a master program or in a bachelor program, you can study tourism through practicing these innovative technologies like neuromarketing technologies. You can learn how to apply these smart gardens, of course. Uh, you will be able to engage these technologies in your research, in your master uh, thesis, and uh, sometimes in your bachelor thesis. 
which is fantastic opportunity to advance your skill and then to position yourself as an expert when you search for a job. And of course, we are developing uh, multiple collaborations with the industry, uh, supporting them uh, and uh, potentially your skills after you gain them will give you an opportunity also to connect with the industry for internships and maybe, who knows, maybe for a future job. So I would really uh, encourage you to consider these uh, issue of uh, the programs because it's practical, it's cutting edge, it's innovative, and it's really something that is required uh, right now in the tourism and hospitality and healthcare industries. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you at uh, the Degendorf Institute of Technology and in our lab. Thank you. Thank you really much. It was very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Then I may take over at this point. My name is Georg Christian Steckenbauer. I am also professor for tourism management at the faculty of the European uh, campus and I am teaching in both programs, the bachelor programs of uh, tourism management and our master program for international tourism development. And I have the pleasure to uh, present uh, a handful of slides about this master program. But uh, before I start to do so and to show you some more details, let me put it into a nutshell. Uh, what we are offering, we are offering a three semester master program international tourism development that is a perfect uh, basis for a future career in international tourism industry. What do we uh, expect? Uh, whom do we search? We search for ambitious students who want to take the challenge, who want to work hard during these three semesters, and who want to be future leaders of tourism industry. And what we provide in detail, I will show you now on my slides. I will try to share my screen that should work i think so yes it's working Thanks. now perfect so we have a master program a three semester master program international tourism development and as you already uh, see this development aspect has uh, a great importance in our program, be it in the field of tourism destinations or companies, uh, the focus of our program is always how to develop something new, something that has not been seen before, something that is unique and therefore successful on the market. And from the um, conditions, from the profile of the program, as I mentioned, we have a three semester uh, program uh, which will uh, be uh, uh, which will provide you with a master of art degree, a program that is completely provided in English in uh, Fakirchen, a small town in uh, Bavaria, not too far from uh, Munich uh, or also the Austrian border, so uh, well connected. And you will really have the chance to um, immerse there. And during your stay here, you also have the chance to acquire a very good level of German. So the program is in English, but you also have the chance to prepare for a career on, uh, in the German. Very strong tourism industry, as you know, what you have to pay. And uh, that's, of course, one of the big advantages. You only have to pay the student union fee per semester, which is 62 uh, euros per semester, because all the costs of our program, all the investments are financed by uh, the free state of Bavaria. So it's a public university. And you can, can imagine from what we provide and from the uh, small contributions from the side of our students. We have a high uh, demand for the program. So uh, we can only take the best and the most ambitious 
applicant. So uh, we take not more than 5% of the applicants that we have every semester, because uh, you can see that the program is very attractive. We can only take the most ambitious and the best applicants and students. The application period for the three semester program is always between 15th of November and 15th of January every year. So we have um, 17 different modules, 17 different courses in our program. All lectures are held in English. As I mentioned, we have different types of examinations. So you will not only be uh, examined by uh, written examination, you have to do uh, some presentations. Presentation skills are very important for a career in tourism. So we, you will be trained on that presentation from the first semester on. You will also have to prepare some written text. You will have to analyze problems. You will have to make suggestions uh, for problems from the tourism industry uh, from your own. You will have to write research papers. So you will have a variety of different forms of examinations that you will have to make during your programs. So the program is a very colorful one. You will have to do some experiments and research in our tourism lab that was presented by my colleague, Professor Wolczyk. Uh, you will also have the possibility, of course, to participate in the world's most important tourism fair, the ITB uh, Berlin and other uh, fairs or scientific events. So this is an overview about uh, the models that uh, we provide during these three semesters of the course. You see we have uh, three semesters here. In the third semester, your main focus will be on your individual master thesis, your individual piece of work that is um, yeah, a kind of um, yeah, first important part for your for the career, a first important step to focus on a topic in the tourism field. We have basically five different groups of models, five different core topics that we provide in our program. We have courses in international tourism management, business economics, of course. We have research methods, which are very important in our program, not only if you um, want to stay in the field of research, but also if you will work in a tourism industry, it's very important that you have skills for analysis of problems, to draw conclusions out of your analysis and to make recommendations, how to improve products, how to develop uh, new products for new target groups. And that's uh, something that you will learn in our research courses. Language competences will be trained in our program and uh, also international destination management is one of our core fields. So you see the topics that we cover in our courses are manifold. We start with core aspects like customer experience management. How can we create new experiences for customers to make our products more interesting, more attractive, more competitive on the market? Business administration, managerial accounting, all tools that you need to be successful as a manager, as a leader in tourism industry. Intercultural, intercultural competences. On our campus, we have 80 different nationalities amongst our students. So you are trained uh, in real life how to communicate, how to work together with colleagues coming from other cultures, having different cultural backgrounds. And we also train it in the program here. Research courses, sustainability aspects, which become more and more important, in particular uh, if tourism is now rebuilt after the corona catastrophe that we are facing in the moment. So many aspects that we cover in our courses, of course, aspects of digital marketing, social media in tourism, which is a core competency for every manager and every leader in the field. So these are some examples for courses 
that uh, uh, we have here. You see, we have a very full program. So uh, we need you as an active student, as an ambitious student. It is a tough program, but it is doable in the three semesters as uh, your colleagues uh, who have finalized uh, the program already proved. So these are some countries where your colleagues come from. So we have more than 30 countries uh, where tourism students come from, more than 80 nationalities on our campus in total. And you see we are a colorful program, a colorful campus, having colleagues with many different backgrounds, making it very international, very interesting, very attractive, uh, and very special what we can offer to you here at our campus. So my colleague, Professor Jantra, already mentioned, of course, we have corporations in industry, but also in international organizations. We are also affiliate members of the United Nations World Tourism Organization and can give you access to a lot of resources that are exclusively for uh, members of these international organizations. So excursions, of course, we also do excursions. We want to bring you in touch with tourism industry. So we have excursions in custom experience management. We go to providers, we visit providers uh, which manage to create such specific experiences to show you how to do that in practice, not only with the perspective of the seminar room, but we want to explore together with you how is that done in industry, how is that done in practice. So also, as Professor Herntra already mentioned, is Contour a student's research conference where we normally send our students to do, uh, yeah, get in competition with students from other universities and show their skills in research and analysis and present their uh, research results that they um, have developed at our university. The ITP Berlin, of course, is also a very important target for our excursion. So you will not only sit in seminar rooms or uh, spend your time in the small town of but we will also go out, we will uh, go to events, we have a lot of activities where we will uh, bring you and you will get in touch with other colleagues from tourism industry, students in the field of tourism, experts from tourism industry, and of course companies, uh, which could be uh, your future employer, maybe. So different topics you can cover or you can explore in your master thesis, we have some example here, destination branding, gambling tourism, uh, intercultural activities to foster sustainability, K-beauty was also a topic, and so on and so forth. So many different topics you can choose from, bring your own topic, develop your own career, become a specialist in the field of choice. So, what are the career prospect, uh, prospects of our, um, of our uh, alumni, higher level of responsibility for tourism providers, product development, of course, is an important field, uh, working in consulting, public relations, coaching for destination, uh, the development of modern communication systems, or also in the field of uh, science and research, doing evaluation. Uh, for uh, tourism. So you have def definitely a very broad range of fields where could, you could make your future career. And we have uh, already some handful of different companies where our graduates found their job, despite we are a very young program and very young faculty. So what do we need? Which qualification do you need to start the course? I said competition is high, so you need a completed undergraduate study programs uh, at a national or foreign university with at least 210 ECTS points in tourism management, economics, science, or uh, by qualification, which is equivalent to such a university degree. This would be the conditions, uh, what you need for your master program. You need uh, a D2 level in English, 
because our program is taught in English. And for the start, you need German on A2 uh, level, uh, which can be acquired also while studying. But of course, if you're here, if you're in Germany, if you stay here for uh, one and a half, two years, then you will have a good chance to get these basic level in German language. And you need to pass an admission test, which consists of two parts, a written test of 60 minutes and a 20 minutes interview, because of course we want to know our future colleagues and the students we will be uh, working with for uh, one and a half year. And we would be very happy if you would be amongst those applicants. So that's it from uh, my side. Thank you. Hope to see you next year at the European Campus Rottal Inn. Thank you very, very much. I would like to thank all of our speakers for this really detailed and interesting uh, presentations. I was also following Q&A and there were, I was noting down some questions, but you have answered all of them. So uh, that's very much, thank you very much for this detailed information. Uh, okay, let's go on. And we are not done yet. So we have another exciting presentation, another very special guest speaker uh, from Heilborn University of Applied Sciences. This is Suzanne Hilland uh, from the Faculty of International Business uh, at the Heilborn University of Applied Sciences. Again, you can see here a small map uh, with the university featuring and the program uh, she'll be talking about is Master of International Tourism Management. Uh, the floor is yours. And uh, yeah, I will stop to share the screen now. Okay. So please. Wonderful. So hello and a very warm welcome from my side as well. I'm Susanne Hilland and the program coordinator of the master program International Tourism Management, or in short, meet him at the Faculty of International Business here at Heilbronn University of Applied Science. I'm happy to provide you with an overview of each meeting, sorry, in the next 15 minutes, starting with some information on Heilbronn, move on to details on meeting like structure, content, et cetera, and finishing with important admission issues. But before starting, many thanks to Travis from our second English taught program, International Business and Intercultural Management, not only for joining this session, but being happy to answer all your questions you might wish to pose in the chat. So probably you never heard of Heilbronn before and wonder where it is situated. So here on the map, you can see the Heilbronn is located in the very south of Germany, not only close to important business hubs, but maybe nice to know close to France, Italy, Switzerland, and Austria too. On the slide, you can see as well the pictures of the four locations of our university, two of which are directly in Heilbronn. And the most important one for you would be the Bildungs campus, as you can see here on the bottom, bottom left, where our faculty is situated. Let me share with you some information on Heilbronn. So the population is around 125,000 and by German standard, it's a medium sized city. It has an excellent location. It's close to important cities like Stuttgart, Frankfurt, Heidelberg, Mannheim, Munich, the cities that might ring a bell and location of very important companies, although on first sight, not necessarily in the field of tourism. We do have the Neckarmeile, which is the longest gastronomic river walk in South Germany. We do have the biggest red wine region in Baden-Württemberg. And we had the Federal Garden Show in 2019, which gave a real boost to Heilbronn in respect, for example, leisure areas. 
So let's now move on for a closer look on what master programs our faculty offers. So first of all, there is the international tourism management, which I will present a little bit more in detail, but we do have the international business and intercultural management as well, which as already mentioned, is another English taught program. And we do have the sustainable tourism development program, which is taught in English and in German. The master program international tourism management is particularly interesting because it not only focuses on tourism in general, but by having common lectures with the other master programs. So it includes shared courses with MIBIM in international management studies, as well as shared courses with NTE in planning, sustainability, and culture in tourism. So when asking yourself, why study at master, uh, a master program at Heilbronn University? So let me give you a lot of good reasons. So first of all, there are excellent career opportunities. Due to our outstanding networks with the industry and of course with uh, our networks in uh, um, uh, with our partner universities, which I will come to later. So we have a high practical relevance um, since as a University of Applied Sciences, we are always striving to apply theoretical knowledge and frameworks to real life projects. We have many opportunities for international networking during our studies not only due to our close connections to the tourism industry, but as already mentioned, to numerous well-known partner universities. We offer a very individual support and mentoring since our student cohort in Medium is small and exclusive. So we admit around 15 students to our program and we can offer an excellent ratio of professor staff to students. Um, we do have an interdisciplinary concept, which means that business courses integrates topics of intercultural communication, management, sustainability, and research topics. So here's some medium short facts, which are not only nice to know, but important to know. So Medium offers a degree um, of the Master of Arts and the language is in English. So as already mentioned, it's offered entirely in English. The location is the Heilbronn Bildungscampus. And we do have only one intake, which is uh, the winter term. Our master program has three semesters, uh, means 90 ECTS credits. As an additional information, a semester abroad is possible within our program. The type of study is full-time and we do, <clears throat> excuse me, we do have fees or let me say it's rather an administrative contribution of 160 euros for all students and for non-EU um, students or applicants, the tuition fee is 1,500 euros. However, <clears throat> we do offer a lot of scholarships as well. And now continuing on to some details uh, on the Master of Arts in International Tourism Management. Our meeting program prepares students for management positions in international and cross-cultural tourism and hospitality environments. As part of the program, students will learn how to manage marketing, human resources, finance and projects, both in a general business sense, as well as with a tourism focus. The result is that students are ready for management positions in for-profit, non-profit and government organizations, 
be they small organizations operating on a local level, all the way to large companies with a global reach. Through our courses, students learn how to plan and execute strategies in business and tourism, making them attractive candidates for strategic positions in the job market. So what makes the meeting program different from other master programs in tourism? We categorize our strengths in four areas. So meeting students take part in expert lectures and excursions. For example, in the first semesters, an excursion to a German business hub, learning about German businesses in several industries, including some innovative organizations in the tourism and hospitality field. And by the way, supported financially by the Faculty of International Business. I'll speak um, more about this on the next slide. Our meeting program is very international and networked. As a founding member of the International Tourism Master Network, our students benefit from an organization of universities offering master programs in tourism, gaining access to job boards, research opportunities, and information about PhD programs. Also, our network of partner universities is very strong for MeTIM, offering possibilities for studying abroad, both within Europe and internationally. Around 15 students, as already mentioned, are admitted to the MeTIM program each year. And generally, more than half of these students come from outside of Germany. So you also find that the students have different backgrounds, some with bachelor degrees in more business related fields, while others um, build on bachelor degrees with a tourism focus. And finally, MeTIM is accredited by Aquin, again being recognized for its focus on intercultural management and sustainability. A nice feature of the program is that some of the courses are mixed with students from other master programs, as I mentioned previously. So now on to the program structure. So medium students participate in an orientation program that covers issues, what students in our program must take care of in their first weeks, as well as as well as a social program that includes opportunities to get to know their fellow students, professors and staff. As far as course content in the first semester, students have classes in foundation courses in business and research, as you can see here, as well as courses focused on tourism specifically. The first semester includes three courses held together with the Sustainable Tourism Development Master Program, so which is qualitative and quantitative methods and contemporary issues in international tourism management. While the module International Management Studies is held together with the medium MIPIM students. Additional courses in the first semester include e-tourism and a business simulation in tourism management. In the second semester, students continue to develop their research skills through a course in econometrics, as well as a module of courses in tourism policy planning and development, sustainable, sustainable tourism, and intercultural management in tourism, all of which are held together with the students of the already mentioned Sustainable Tourism Development Program. So medium students also take a module of courses in marketing, including marketing activities of destinations, hospitality, and tour operators. But the highlight of the second semester is definitely the Integrated Tourism Project. This is the project that I referred to before, 
where students work together with a foreign business or organization on a real life project. In recent years, the integrated tourism project included projects within Europe, as well as in Sri Lanka, Costa Rica, Tunisia, South Africa, just to name a few. So this project provides a great experience for students to gain practical skills and develop their intercultural competency. Following the second semester, students have several uh, options. Some students choose, choose to spend a semester abroad at one of our partner universities. Others decide um, to complete a voluntary internship to gain practical experience, uh, while others choose to simply begin their master thesis right, uh, right away. So it is important to know that students must register their thesis uh, within six months after completing all of the core program courses and then have six months to hand in their thesis. By the way, students have the options to write their thesis from anywhere in the world and also to write the thesis with a company if they choose. So the Masters in International Tourism Management opens the door to jobs in the tourism industry and beyond. Our graduates find positions in destination management organizations, both at local and national levels, as well as careers with tourism agencies, airlines and hotels. Pictured here, you will find three of uh, our graduates from the program, including Camilla from Colombia, who now works in Munich as a global visa specialist. Rade from Serbia, who works in Munich as well as a product and revenue manager for international markets. And Li from Vietnam, who works in Berlin as a junior account manager. And by the way, spent a year abroad at one or at our partner universities um, at Central Lancashire. Also of interest to our international students is probably after completing your degree, you will have the opportunity to apply for a work searching visa, which will allow you to stay in Germany for up to 18 months while you search for a job here in Germany. So I would like to now continue with information about admission requirements, our application procedure and our selection process. So let me start with the academic requirements. Our main criteria is that you have an excellent or good first degree in business studies or in a business related discipline. This means that at least 50% of your bachelor courses need to be related to business, for example, management, economics, finance, controlling, or marketing. Your bachelor degree should have 210 ECTS. However, applicants holding a degree with only 180 ECTS have the opportunity to obtain the missing 30 ECTS during the master program by attending additional subjects offered by the Faculty of International Business. And when talking about an excellent or good first degree, this means you need to have a German average grade of 2.5 or better, so 2.4, 2.3, or an equivalent international qualification. Um, that, some words on our language requirements. So please have in mind that our program is completely taught in English. And as such, applicants are required to prove a high provincy in English through an EL test, TOEFL, Cambridge, or Oxford test of English. So please note that no other certificates uh, are accepted. And please be aware that only native speakers of English are exempt from this requirement. Let us now have a closer look at the application procedure, which consists of one step for applicants with a German bachelor degree and two steps for all applicants holding a non 
German bachelor degree. So if your bachelor degree is from a non-German institution, step one means that it needs to be declared equivalent to a German first degree by applying for a Studienkolleg Konstant certificate. They will as well transfer the mark of your home university into the German grading system. Please check the Studienkolleg Konstanz website for the required application documents, submission instructions, and current processing time. And some further uh, information on the Studienkolleg. Um, this service is free of charge uh, for you. As you can see here on the slide, the recommended application deadline is or was the 1st of June. However, please contact the Studienkolleg for detailed information since depending on the completeness and status of your documents, they might be able to process your application though the deadline uh, expired. Step two, applying to the Heilbronn University has to be taken by all prospective students. And this process can be started parallel to step one since they are independent of each other. By the way, it's not possible to apply for more than one master at our university. So please complete the master online application form on our website as soon as possible. You therewith have an official account and you can check at any given point of time the status of your application. For example, if documents or informations are missing or incomplete. Don't forget to print the online application form, sign it and send it with the other required accompanying documents to the academic department at Heilbronn University. By the way, for the application process, simple copies of the required documents are sufficient. In case of admission, you have to present then either the original documents or certified true copies. Please note, and I cannot stress it enough, the application deadline is the 15th of July, which is a real cutoff date. Documents received after the deadline and incomplete applications will not be considered. So for step two, several documents must be submitted to Heilbronn University. And you can see here a list of the required documents which is also available on our website. So therefore I won't mention it in detail. But very important might be the selection criteria as well. So the following criteria will be taken into consideration, which is the grade of, our, uh, of your first degree, uh, this is our main admission criteria and counts for 60% of your score. And you can get additional bonus points um, if, if you, for example, have work experience, preferably in course-related areas after the first degree, and or international experience acquired during your bachelor, like working or studying abroad, for example, by taking an internship or a semester abroad. Again, please make sure that you hand in your complete application to the academic department of Heilbronn University until 15th of July at the latest. Sorry if I have to stress this. Either in hard copy by post if you are currently in Germany or by email if you are submitting your application from outside of Germany. And maybe another important piece of information. So we try hard to create our final ranking list as soon as possible. And you should get information on your admission status about one week after the application deadline. So it's quite possible that you have questions that I haven't answered already or that I've raised new questions for you. Your pro our program management team is always happy to receive your questions either in chat uh, right now um, 
and or you now by sending us an email going to our website and we are uh, determined to help you if um to or, or to find out if our program is the right fit for you so please feel free to reach out uh, to us anytime we look forward to hearing from you soon thank you very much Thank you so much for this very detailed information. Actually, it was really, really detailed presentation. I think all the questions were answered, but um, still, for me as an international student as well, there were some um, very interesting and informative points. And first of all was the group with 15 students. I think uh, from my perspective um, here in Bremen as well, we had small groups and when I have seen some other seminars where are there like 100 students, for example, in Germany, it's common and um, it's kind of not this um, face to face contact to professors. Yeah. You don't have this vibe. But in your case, I think this is a great opportunity for students to have really tight relations with uh, group mates and professors. So this was uh, one of the highlights for me. And also for international students, I think um, you mentioned some scholarships. It's also uh, an option they can choose or apply for. And another very interesting was integrated tourism project, which um, I, I don't know like in detail what is it, but it sounds really interesting. And also if I was applying now, I would go for this option and <laughs> maybe because of this also apply to your program. So thank you so much for this presentation. And now we go to the question and answers. Um, and um, actually I was really happy because when I was uh, seeing some comments, students were saying that, oh, we are also looking forward getting into your program, into all of the three different programs. There are all already participants probably who have applied or are trying to do it right now. Um, and uh, before we conclude, because we are a bit over time, I would like to uh, ask um, two questions. Uh, the first one is about English language certificate. Um, I know Ms. Susan uh, Hilland already uh, mentioned that they accept IELTS, uh, TOEFL and Cambridge and all others are not accepted. But for other professors, could you please um, mention, you mentioned like B2 level uh, or yeah, B2 level mostly for your programs. Could you please uh, tell us if it's okay if the students provide, are not native speakers and provide certificates from their um, home country university that they have, for example, a three or four year um, entire program of bachelor or school. Um, is it an option with you or also you accept only uh, TOEFL and IELTS? I'm sure the details are already provided on your course web pages that, the, that are listed in the chat, uh, but if you would like to also answer it out loud, that would be great. Hello? Yeah, you can maybe <laughs> repeat once again and uh, that, yeah. So before the, the, the colleagues answering, so it's not only TOEFL and the elders which we accept, it's Cambridge and Oxford Test of English as well. So, but or then being a native, yeah. Yeah, so this maybe the school certificate is not accepted or university, yeah. So that was one question that um, I noted down, asked, asked several times. And another one, um, if until the professors uh, want to answer this question again. Uh, if not, the second question was about campus dormitories. Um, do you have an opportunity for this? Like this uh, refers to all programs. Whoever wants to answer, you're welcome. Okay, hi, Ron will answer then. <laughs> yes, we are offering these student halls, residences. Uh, we do have quite um, a huge database of um, serving more or less all 
um, wishes of the students so they can can apply for the dormitories, they can go for private accommodation, um, whatever. I mean, there is uh, plenty of possibilities and they, of course, uh, get ex assistance and support in finding it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Same, same situation at our university as we have very new campus. Uh, we have also very new student dormitories, which are not offered by university, but by private organizations, of course. Uh, and the situation here is that about 50% of our students would uh, live in such uh, dormitories. The other 50% would have private accommodations. Uh, so there is a big variety and selection of different uh, of different accommodations that we can offer here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, once again, thanks to everyone. Um, since we are a bit over time, I don't want to take your time anymore. Um, and I wish you good day or evening. Um, where are you based, depending on that. Uh, so bye. I hope you enjoyed the webinar. And Annette, uh, thank you to you as well for answering so many questions. And she will just now um, give you some direct links in a chat uh, so that uh, you can uh, rate uh, or grade our webinar if you enjoyed it and if you were happy with it. Uh, so. Thanks again, and see you during all our next webinars. Bye. Bye. Bye.